Hi, let's take a look at a few New Windows 11 multimedia editing workflows. New Windows 11 supports various video file formats and offers two video tracks. You can import a video file into a new or existing project at cursor position. Note that the video frame mismatch will be displayed on a video frame. Preferences and options in a project setup window and a project allows you to adjust the frame rate and the time display set to timecode in this project. Make sure Use Video follows Edit Mode under Transport is activated to get a continuous visual feedback on the video display. You can trim head and tail and cut a video file. You can use the Video Cut Detection panel under Project to analyze video cuts between shots at different sensitivity level and add markers at the detected cut positions. This is very useful if no edit decision list is available. Under Studio, Studio Setup, Video Player, you can show Hide, Time Code at left, right or center position. A primary and secondary time display is available on the transport panel to easily switch between two project time display format. Under Studio, More Options, Time Display, an independent and adjustable time display window is available. Other useful preferences under Transport show time code subframe and locate when clicked in empty space. So you can click anywhere within the events section of the project window to move the cursor position in a timeline. You can also move the cursor using the video player. Click and hold within the video player window and move the mouse to the left or right side. Now let's take a look at folder tracks. You can freely move the tracks within the folder on the timeline by moving the folder container with the mouse. Trim head and tail. Cut or copy-paste all the tracks within the selected folder. Using the Grid Type section of the toolbar, you can nudge the folder container at the selected value of the Grid Type on the timeline, using Command plus left or right arrows, by the quarter frame, one frame or one second at a time, for example. You can also switch the timeline reference to any other available nudging reference and nudge the selected folder container or track to the selected grid type value without affecting the project time display format. Let's take a look at a few useful editing preferences. Select track on background click, combined with locate when clicked in empty space under transport allows you to click anywhere within the event section of the project window to bring the cursor and select the track at the selected location within the project. Track selection follow event selection allows you to select one or multiple events and tracks at the same time. Based on the default editing tool modifiers preferences for the object and wrench tools, starting with the object tool selected, and no event selected within the project window, press and hold Command and roll over any event with a mouse. You'll get this icon representing the tip of the cursor and event. You can then move any event to the left or right side of the cursor position on the timeline based on the icon showing the event on the left or right side of the tip of the cursor. Press and hold Command plus Option to copy-paste any event to the right or left side of the cursor. Using the Wrench tool, press and hold Command to move any event to the left or right side of the cursor position, or press and hold Command plus Option to copy-paste any event to the left or right side of the cursor on left click. Note that the icon represents a wrench selection and event. Now if we take a closer look at an event, 
I can fade in and out based on the continuous feedback of the video player and use the scrub tool to fine tune the cursor position on the timeline. Right click to Fades and fade in or out to the cursor position. Adjust the event volume or clip gain from the info line section or use the tap square in the middle of the selected event. Use the Draw tool to further shape the volume of the selected event. Option plus spacebar allows you to play the selected event regardless of the cursor position on the timeline. Finally, you can nudge, based on the grid settings, any event automation settings independently from the event. Thanks for watching.